In the 1770s, Francisco Goya prepared more than 60 paintings as preliminary designs, or cartoons as they are called, for tapestries that were woven and hung in the sumptuous royal residences in Madrid. The tapestries were used to cover the bare stone walls of the palace rooms and were only ever seen by the royal family, members of the court and noble friends. The images tend to idealise what was actually a harsh reality for most Spaniards, but they represent some of the first images of everyday life of the common people made in Spain. Goya made a comfortable living as an artist, working for the king and the royal court for almost 40 years, producing tapestry designs and portraits. The pottery vendor depicts a scene of commercial or festival activity and relationships between different classes and social types. In the centre of an image is a horse-drawn carriage in which a lady, an aristocrat or noblewoman, is being driven by a well-dressed coachman, accompanied by footmen and another passenger in the carriage, visible only from the back. In the foreground is a young man selling pottery, also seen from the back as he addresses a young woman, accompanied by another two women. We can also see, again from the back, two seated men in the middle distance who appear to be addressing or attempting to catch the attention of the lady in the carriage. In this painting, Goya has cleverly used details of dress, expression and gesture to tell a kind of visual story about the kind of society that was beginning to change and emerge in late 18th century Spain under the rule of the so-called enlightened monarchs of Charles III and his son Charles IV. It may also be seen as a kind of allegory of desire and vanity.